Okay, good morning, year four and five. Once again, it's drama time, and I've been given the difficult task of trying to figure out some kind of performance piece you can perform by yourself or st stuck at home in isolation. I know it's not, it's quite more challenging than your usual drama classes, but what I've come up with today is we're going to do a poetry reading. So you're, you're each going to film yourself reading a poem. Again, I don't mind which poem. It can be a poem from one of your books. It can be a poem from the internet. If you, if you don't have a preference on a poem, just Google uh, poems for children. And I'm sure you'll be able to find one. Or if you're really struggling that much and you've got the time, you can write your own poem. But um, that might be too much work. So I'd probably try and find a pre-existing poem. That seems much easier. And I do want these by the end of the day. You've only got until the end of the day to film this and by the day I mean any time today being Thursday. So like I said two weeks ago it's not about the joke you choose or the poem you choose it's how you present it. I want you to speak loudly I want you to speak clearly and especially as this is a poem and a lot, I'm guessing a lot of you will be choosing rhyming poems please get the rhythm correctly. So as with last week I'm going to give you a quick sample now by the way, I have one thing I did want to mention. When choosing your poems, make sure it's not too short, make sure it's not too long. I would recommend the poem be about between 30 seconds and 2 minutes long. So, again, it makes it easier to upload the video to me. And once it's uploaded, as la same as last week, post it in the comments below so others can watch it as well. Anyhow. The poem I'm going to be using as an example, it's by one of my favourite authors, Roald Dahl. Again, he's done many famous books, but he's also done a few poems as well. So today's poem is titled, The Dentist and the Crocodile. Okay. The Dentist and the Crocodile. The crocodile with cunning smile sat in the dentist chair. He said, right here and everywhere, my teeth require repair. The dentist's face was turning white. He quivered, shaked and shook. He muttered, I suppose I'm going to have to take a look. I want you, Crocodile declared, to do the back ones first. The molars at the very back are easily the worst. He opened wide with massive jaws. It was a fearsome sight. At least three hundred pointed teeth, all sharp and shining white. The dentist kept himself well clear. He stood two yards away. He chose the longest probe he had to search out the decay. I said to do the back ones first, the crocodile called out. You're much too far away, dear sir, to see what you're about. To do the back ones properly, you're, you've got to put your head... Deep down inside my great big mouth, the grinning crocky said. Poor, the poor old dentist wrung his head and weeping in despair. He cried, no, no, I see them all extremely well from here. Just then, in burst a lady, in her hands a gold chain. She cried, oh croc, you naughty boy, you're playing tricks again. Watch out, the dentist shrieked and started climbing the wall. He's after me, he's after you, he's going to eat us all. Don't be a twit, the lady said, and flashed a gorgeous smile. He's harmless, he's my little pet, he's my lovely crocodile. By Roald Dahl. So again, I hope that's given you an answer there. I may have done a bit more reading uh, than I actually wanted to there. But again, try and practice your poem before you film it. Try and get the rhythm right to avoid the kind of reading, reading, as I did a bit of there, I felt a bit guilty about doing that, but I hope it gives you an idea of the kind of thing I'm after. Again, try not to choose anything too long, and just have fun with it. Find a poem you're gonna, that makes you smile. If it makes you smile, it'll probably make the rest of us smile. Anyway, uh, enjoy the drama lesson. Remember, you've got to the rest of the day to do this. Good luck. And I'll see you for in the Zoom meeting later. Bye-bye.